All right, got some very exciting stuff today. Got some new strings for my guitar. And uh, why do I need new strings for my guitar? Because I got a new acoustic guitar pickup. This is a KK Sound Pure Mini pickup. It's a three transducer pickup, uh, which goes under the bridge. And uh, then it gets wired through your uh, strap knob on the end of your guitar. So this is a non-amplified uh, pickup. It's the best one, according to reviews, from what I've seen. And uh, so I'll do a bit of an unboxing, and you'll see that it still has the uh, the tape on it. I've not even opened it yet. Um, so I'll I'll do the unboxing, and then uh, I'll probably do another video of the actual installation. And of course, I got my my Gibson medium strings um, for my acoustic uh, because I'll need to take my old strings off, and they are pretty old, uh, so it's time to replace them. So I'm going to try it. I've not tried it with the Gibson strings before, so we'll see how they go. I just have a, a, a Fender acoustic guitar right now. Um, happens to be left-handed as well. So there you go. All right, got my guitar there ready to go here. I'll make a second video, but uh, first I'll do my unboxing thing here. Alright, so what do we have here? We have a uh, golf ball tee. That's funny. Warranty instructions. I'm guessing those are double sided tape stickies um, for putting them in place. And then I think there's some. Uh, spacer help tools, a little piece of plastic there to help with the lining up. Here is the unit itself, and the uh, transducers are stuck on the foam there. Pretty small, 135 bucks plus tax, that is. And that's it for the box. So, I don't know if you can see that, there's a nice little piggly wiggly on the back. That's for the homesteaders, for the, uh, the pork raisin hog wrestling uh, homesteaders. So, let's see, I'll open this up here. Let's just see what we got. Alright, so let's see here. Warranty card, yeah. KNK sound. A manual. A staple in it. Not a nice book manual, but then you probably never use this again. Oh yeah, okay, so this goes through I don't know if you can see it, but it goes through some of the uh installation techniques. Because what you want to do is you want to space the trans, tran, uh, transducers um, correctly under the bridge. So they show using the golf golf tee there to line it up. Interesting. All right. Let's open this one up. This is supposed to be easy for. A do-it-yourself sort of uh, project, although uh, I got it from Long and McQuaid in Canada, uh, and they definitely would install it for me, but it'd be about seventy-five dollars to install it. So I save not quite half uh, half the price, three quarters of the price, just by installing it myself. And uh, yeah, double-sided ad adhesive it says. So that's what that's what this stuff is. Adhesive strips. And then you got your little plate there, which you stick these guys into to help line it up. 
and not sure what that is. Maybe modeling clay. I think I saw in one video they had modeling clay or something so that you could stick it to something and then uh, push it up under. So uh, we'll see. See how that goes. That's all there is for contents. Um, oh, yeah. Let's take this part. Let's see what I'm doing here. All right, so there it is, coiled up. There are the three transducer pads. First thing I notice is. Um, well, they made it as short as possible, so you don't have a lot of cable dangling in here. They added this nice little uh, sleeve here, probably so that once you uh, stick the transducers uh, under the bridge, you can slide this up and, and just tighten up the, uh, the cord so it stays together. And this sleeve down here is a uh, nice thick uh, rubber flexible material. Um, so that, that feels like it's good quality. So that's neat. And uh, that's your quarter inch jack. And so the next uh, next procedure is going to well, this is where you put your strap, your guitar strap. Next procedure is going to be uh, taking the strings off my guitar and uh, going to see if I can get that installed.